All right. So uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at task 15M. Okay, the question says, open the, the file that you saved at the end of task 18G. Find Mr. Varela a list of all the students that he teaches for maths, including, sorry, include in this extract his full name and teaching room. Okay. Um, so in in this in this the question uh, the summary of the question is that um, in this extract in this query we are going to include um, the full name of the teacher and then the room he teaches and then the student's um, full name that's what uh, is required to, to be shown after this query okay so what we're going to do is first of all identify our um, task 18G. So what I did here is that I saved um, task 18F when I finished task 18F. I saved it as task 18G. Now, as a database, as a database, not um, not as a, an object, just for for convenience sake. Okay. So if you if you can recall, this is the form that we adjusted. Okay, in task 18G. Okay. So what I'm what I'm going to do? I'm going to close this. Just a reminder, though. I'm going to close this and then another thing I want to show you guys is what a relationship is about. So uh, we created a relationship uh, in one of the tasks that we did before and the relationship here is between uh, teacher's table and then student table. Okay. And if we found out that, if found out that relationship is directly between uh, the subject, subject code uh, in the teacher's table and then the math code, right? So now this means that every time you look at um, every time you look at um, teacher's table, if I open that, if you click on any uh, teacher, you will immediately see the, the students that they teach math. Okay, uh, um, Mr. Anthony Varela here teaches 31 student mathematics. Okay, and the same thing it will give you an idea. The number of students also this one teaches and all that all right so this, that's this is what one of the things a relationship and relationship in um, a, a database can do for you okay so i just wanted us to have that in mind before we do this task okay so um we're going to create um we're going to create a query based on the two tables here okay so we're going to extract a few fields all right so we're going to create a table based on teachers so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to um, create. Um, okay, first of all, let me close this first of all. Yeah, create and then query wizard. Simple query, of course. So what I'm going to have, of course, uh, by default, I already clicked on the uh, teacher's table. So that's why I selected here. So I'm going to have his um, full name. I'm going to have his full name. Full name and then, uh, sorry, first name. Sorry, what am I saying? That's first name and then son name and then gonna have room. These are these are the fields that are required for this query based on the question. So I'm gonna go back to tables query and then take students. Now I need student uh, first name also, and then I need the uh, student son name, and I will need math because um, from the question we are meant to um, list all the students that teaches math that's Mr. Vero. So I'm going to have um masking here. Okay, so I'll move ahead, move ahead. Um what am I gonna give this for you now? Okay, so let me just give it um task 18 and so uh, I don't like giving space between my queries so I'm gonna have underscore right there. Uh, I'm gonna have um uh, 18 and just to suggest what I stayed with, okay. So I'm going to modify. I'm going to click on modify the query, so that I'll be able to query the table. Now I'm going to query the table on the. Um, I'm going to query the table on the. Okay, first of all, uh, yeah. So I'm going to query this table now here. So on the maths uh, field, all right. So. Um, Making sure that I'm on the I'm on the criteria row, okay. So what? So 
Now, one of the things um, you, you have to remember is that math, the math code, the S code, which I'm going to show you shortly, the S code, um, which is the subject code for math for teachers, is uh, AVA. So we're going to put AVA here. Okay. We're going to have AVA here. Then enter that. Okay. And then you can run your query. And then you can see that everybody, this uh, everybody, Mr. Varela. Uh, teaches and then the room is 54 okay uh, the room is 54 if you go back to the um if you go back to the the table you will also see that um you go back to the query here you see that this ava okay ava for anthony varela and then you can see that it's math and then uh, the room is 54 and then if you go back to the query it's absolutely the same the same thing okay um so this is the student's name and this is uh, Mr. Uh, Anthony Varela. Um, maths field is not needed for this query, okay? Or this AVA here. It's not really needed for this uh, query. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to um, design view. I'm going to uncheck this. You don't have to delete the field, please. Just uncheck it and then run your query again. If you find that maths field is not there. See, these are the fields. So these are the fields that are needed for this uh query okay so um if you do this if you uh if you if you attempted this exercise you will see that you're going to have about 31 records and that's the right record you should have so if you don't have that one record so something is wrong you may have to go back to previous um previous tasks to be able to know what you got wrong okay all the links are down below all right so that's how you do this um yeah so take care of yourself um don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, comment and then share my share my videos thank you so much i will see you in the next video bye